This is Steve Moss, um, the new guitar player, new member from Deep Purple. Um, during your European tour with Deep Purple, also doing some workshop uh, shows here, here in Hanau, um, getting in touch with new fans, old fans. Um, what's your feelings, impressions? Well, it was very, very polite crowd, and everyone spoke very good English. So it was, it was uh, very easy for me, because I tried to speak in, in Deutsch. <laughs> it's kind Deutsch. So it, it, was, it was very good. Everybody understood, um, I think, everything that I said. And I played, some, I played three songs to show some different techniques and to talk about uh, ways of playing the electric guitar and answered questions. And it's, it's a good thing, it's free to the public. People can bring their children and it's safe. There's no smoke, it's not too loud. It's, it's, a, good, uh, it's a good environment for musicians to share information. Mm. And how's the tour going so far with the people? Um, your, the, the audience, um, I think, uh, um, some audience want to see Richie Blackmore, but um, I think uh, you recorded a very good record with the purple uh, and Thanks. I think the reaction from the audience is good enough. Or what? What's your impressions? It's going very well. Every gig has been great and some people maybe don't realize that Richie Blackmore quit. I didn't push Richie Blackmore out. He left the band two and a half years ago and um, basically I'm just filling an empty slot and um, I play a different style than Richie Blackmore, but the uh, the band is four out of five of the original members of Deep Purple, and it it sounds like Deep Purple with a little bit different direction, which is I think the right thing to do for them now to mm -hmm. to get a little bit different sound. And uh, I enjoy playing some of the uh, even some of the parts that Richie Blackmore wrote because they're good guitar riffs. It's no problem. I play his stuff. I play my style too. And the audience reaction is very well. It's, it's, every gig's been great. And especially in Germany, it's, every single gig has been really well received. So we have no problems at all. Mm. So you're lucky to be in the band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the, the luck part is mostly that we're lucky that we have good chemistry, the whole band together. That's the, that's the real lucky part, I think. That's, that's the part that makes it possible to stay together. So we can hope for more records in this lineup, hopefully. I yeah, I think there's, there's no... Tours and going on in this business. Yeah, there's no question that the, the band chemistry is, is very good. The, the feel of the band is great. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's no problem at all there. You recorded also just before the Deep Purple Tour a solo record, Stress Ball, something? Stress Fest. Stress Fest. Yeah, it's just coming out. Uh, my new album is coming out in about a week or two weeks here in Germany. It's called Stress Fest, and that will be um, a good example of, of my style of music uh, away from Deep Purple. My style of music with Deep Purple is different. It's more like Deep Purple, of course, but uh, it's, it's a, the opening track of Stress Fest is a thrash metal bluegrass tune. <laughs> <laughs> with no no way to describe it. It's it's all energy. Um, you will go on to record solo records um, besides Deep Purple? Or what? Yes, I've, I've always... Same with Ian Gillen. He's, he's going to be doing another solo album and I'm sure I will as well. It's the, the band likes that. The band appreciates the fact that everybody has different influence. That, uh, say, Ian Pace, is, who's a great drummer, he, he, he's into... Uh, so you know, big band style jazz, sometimes that he listens to, and and then he can play the with ease the the rock beats and have them swing. And Roger loves all kinds of music, from Celtic to uh, folk music and everything in between. And Gillen loved, listens to reggae and island music and all kinds of things. Everybody's got a different, you know. John Lord, of course, very he, he knows a lot about classical music, and he's. Everybody's into something different, and that's good. The, the band appreciates that, and they know that that makes the band stronger. Mm. Okay, and tell me something about the recording session of the 
you developed the record, um, how much was you involved in it and so on? The recording session grew out of a writing session. We sat down together and wrote songs. Um, a lot of the songs came from just guitar riffs and beats. Ian Pace and I would come in early to the rehearsal and play, just kind of jamming ourselves. And uh, if we had an idea that we like, that we were playing, Roger might come in a little later and pick up his bass and play along, and then John Lord would come in and play along, and then Ian Gillen would come in and say, "Hey, I love that. Let's. I got an idea. Just remember that." And that's that's the way a lot of the songs uh, were written, just kind of um, out of jams. And I was involved, well, in every song from the very beginning. And when we recorded them, we recorded them as a band, everybody together in the same room we, we wrote in. So we just put microphones in front of our uh, rigs and, and put them down on a 24-track. Some of those original uh, demos are on the record even. An example is uh, Sometimes I Feel Like Screaming and uh, Rose's Cantina. Those were as we recorded them the, the first time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And from the past, about your musical career, what, what was the best? Um, different groups, I think it was Kansas, Dixie oh, yeah. Drags and Solo. What was the best time in your life, uh, musical career? Maybe the best time in my life was I had quit playing music for about six months. I was still working on a solo album and I was still practicing my guitar. See, I was still working on a solo album and I was still practicing my guitar, but I'd stopped playing music and cut off my hair and I was a, working for an airline as a pilot. I've, I've been a pilot for a very long time and I decided I would be an airline pilot and just play music for fun. And I'd been doing that for six months and I got a call from my friend in Leonard Skinner band. They were playing in town and they said, Steve, do you want to sit in? And I didn't know it, but that night they were recording a live album in Atlanta at, at the, uh, the big Coliseum there. And they, they brought me on stage to play a song with them, and they put it on their live album, too. And I, I just remember such a good feeling from the band that maybe it, the music business wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> so I kind of got back into it after that. It was, it was part of it was because of, of them sharing that time with me. So that, that was one of the best experiences 